Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, our channel. <laughs> our intros pretty much start like this every single video now. There she is. I think she's just gonna settle in there or she might start attacking herself in the mirror. Anyways guys, it is 8 p.m. in the night. I've not been doing very well mentally and I've been wanting to make this particular video for a very very long time um, and I couldn't get myself to do it but yeah, I'm, I'm very excited that I managed to reach this point in the video so let's get started anyways in this video guys I'm going to be recreating the um, Alia Bhatt's 10 minute no foundation makeup routine that she did in Allure magazine she's been doing a lot of these for Vogue and it's it's basically uh, <laughs> created quite a stir whenever Alia opens her mouth whenever she talks it creates a stir and I have a few opinions to share so I wanted to do the makeup because we are a makeup channel and also talk because we are also opinionated so that's what this video is about if you would like to see it please keep watching if this is the very first time you're seeing this face hello I am Jovita and I would love it if you took a second to click that red subscribe button just underneath this video and if you hear little bells that is Looney doing her thing right there Kapish? Kapish I have to say that I tried watching this video before and I got <laughs> really bored the first time around and I stopped watching halfway through uh, but we're gonna watch this video together this time again and um, just uh, just uh, do it recreate this okay and in case Alia if you're watching this video somehow you were just googling your name and you found me um, um, yeah please don't hate me that's all I love you I really really love you by the way Let's go! It is to not really go for foundation. She I said she said this many times. She said this even in her Vogue video that she doesn't really do foundation, but she has beautiful, stunning skin. She really doesn't need foundation. Uh, but then she says that uh, she doesn't do anything and then she does skin uh, skin tints. And <laughs> these days skin tints are pretty much foundations, Alia. Why are you living under a rock? It's pretty much medium to full coverage skin tints these days anyways. Anyways, I'm jumping the gun. For when I'm shooting movies, ads, whatever. But on me, I prefer to go for skin tints. Like I'm a bit of a mixologist. I like to make a nice comp comp. So am I. I'm a mixologist certified in New York. Like actual bar bartender mixologist. If anyone wants to give me a job, please do. I shall come and do mixology for you. Anyways, let's see what her concoction is. Um, today, by the way, I'm also trying out a new makeup brand called House of Makeup. They've got the Face Anything Luminous Skin Tint with Hyaluronic Acid and Goji Berry and Niacinamide and all of that. And this is in the shade D10. Okay, so this is the um, skin tint that I'm going to be using. Let's see what else she's going to do. I hope I have a liquid highlighter, guys. I don't think I, I may have to scrape. <laughs> See, I'm working with a few things that I have at home, okay? I'm not in my office where I keep all of my things, but oh my god, this video is gonna get so chatty. Let's see, let's see, let's get, let's start getting mixology. Being in the sun all day where you're like tired, but there's like this glow on your face and you just like are naturally flushed and you just... No, Alia. No. That is a glow that we brown girls, we brown girls do not know. This sun burnt glow is something that you fair girls no uh, i have that glow in the winter the winter burn glow i like to call it uh, but i know what she's talking about when fair girls get a little tan there's a little bit of burn but we deeper melanin rich girls we just look like burnt like a paper in the sun burnt that's what we look like so no i cannot relate but okay i like the name just look like you know a child of the earth I, I want to go for that look, so that's what I'm trying. I'm using Summer Friday's skin tint. I love it. It's a sheer skin tint and it just works beautifully on my skin. And I'm going to mix it with this Kiko primer. Oh. I love primer. Oh, we're mixing primer with skin tint. Okay. We really, really do not have to mix a primer with a skin tint, especially a skin tint. A primer, what it does, guys, is fill in pores. Uh, or, or fine lines you know uh, so I, and I would say primer has to be specifically applied where you need it only you do not really need to apply it all over your face uh, these usually have those skin perfecting 
um, ingredients anyway. Mixing in a primer with a skin tint is really really not necessary. You would get better result if you just take a dot of that primer and press it into your pores. But because Miss Alia but said that we're gonna do it. Um, and this one in particular because it's like a highlighter, it's a primer and it's a cream. So it's like super... Oh, oh that, see I knew it. She had a highlighter somewhere in there. Um, so I'm taking my skin tint. This is the first time I'm trying my skin tint by the way. I hope it suits me. Uh, I'm gonna take the Charme C CMC Pore Pro, Pro Pore Conceal Primer. Uh, this is one of those silicone primers. I'm just going to apply. Um, shouldn't have applied that much. Ah! I know what to do from Bind Beauty, the sunstone. There is a glow cream illuminator. Uh, it is a cream highlighter. So I'm just going to scoop out just a touch of that. So we get that highlighting property that she wants. Very, very little, guys. You see, just on the. So I'm not going to overdo it at all. We're going to give this a fair chance. I'm going to give this into the mixology as well. I what else? So I mix these two together. And again for me it's not really about... <laughs> Even Loni had something to say about that. You know something I've noticed when it comes to Ali Abad's um, videos is she has a pick me girl vibe. You know she has that vibe where she feels like she's not like everybody else. And she's a little unique, she's a little quirky, she's special because of that. I feel like she does that a lot. What happened, Luna B? I've been looking at my viewfinder and uh, mixing this into my face. Hey, not bad, not bad. Uh, this skin tint is very light coverage to start with the House of Makeup one, not the Summer Fridays one. So when I uh, mix it with the primer, it reduces the coverage even more. So it's basically nothing. This is basically, actually we are going into her, um, I don't like to wear foundation kind of a feel, a vibe. But because I have that silicone primer, my skin feels very, very silicone-y. If it was during the day, I know I would have really sweat my ass off, you know, if this much silicone was on my face. But right now, since it's a night, um, I think I'm going to be fine. But anyways, this is something that I've always felt about her. She feels like she's special, you know. Remember the lipstick? I don't apply lipstick like normal girls. I do this like, okay, so what's, do you think you're special? Do you think you're cute because of that? I feel like, you know, someone told her long, long back ago that, you know, she's very cute. <laughs> and then she's been sticking to that. You have anything to say, Loons? She says she doesn't want to... <laughs> she doesn't. She wants her freckles to show her. Sh she wants her skin to look like skin. And then she goes ahead and uses a concealer to cover the whole entire face. Anyways, I'm using the House of Makeup concealer over here as well. And this is in the shade D01. By the way, this is such a brilliant concealer. I feel like... Yeah, Luna B. I know. She thinks I'm talking to her. I feel like, um, okay, Lund, okay, and she's uh, covered all her blemishes. Where is Nice. And a little bit on her chin. And she's blending this with her beauty blender, but I am gonna go in with my concealer buffer because I've got my own brush set why not by the way you know this is limited edition now the reason why I wanted to do um, this Alia Bhatt recreation is not really to <laughs> scrutinize her makeup but actually talk about what people have been talking about Ranbir Kapoor I keep getting confused between Ranbir Singh and Ranbir Kapoor anyways you know, there's a lot of debate online about if he's a narcissist, if he's not a narcissist. I am not a psychiatrist and I am in no way, in no position to say anyone is anything, okay? But there are a few certain things that she has said and a few certain things that we have seen on... Yes, yes, Moons. I know, she, she likes to talk back. So when I'm talking, she thinks I'm talking to her. She's talking back to me, okay, by the way. That's all that's happening. So I have a few things to say about that. This concealer is really, really great, but it's a bit pink. Looney. Hello, da. 
I really like this concealer. It is medium coverage. It blends really well, but it's a bit pink. I wish it was a bit more yellow. But um, yeah, let's get into the conversation I was talking about. Um, yeah, I have had um, very, very, very deep relationship with uh, like narcissists. You know, it's not one I've uh, been with more than one narcissist. That is a problem that I have to figure out why I keep going after them. Let's not talk about that, you know. But I, I have been with enough narcissists to understand certain narcissistic traits. When she says that, you know, she's not allowed to speak above a certain decibel, that is not okay no matter what no matter what the reason is uh, there is no okay reason to tell your spouse or your friend or your family member or anyone to that you know that you're not allowed to speak above a certain decibel and i've seen certain reels where she's walking in front of him she's wearing this gagra and he's kicking her gagra that just shows pent up like a person who loves you, I don't think will do things like that, you know. Um, I, I don't think even in my worst marital phase, my ex would have done that to my clothes, you know, like kicking her clothes. And and also that wiper off, that whole wiper off thing reminded me so much about something that my ex used to do. Um, that lipstick wiper off, that whole thing, oh my god, it became such a thing and he, wait, let's let's see what she's doing makeup wise okay so her next step uh, is the glossier i have tried it it's amazing it is not a dupe to the k beauty one a lot of people think it is the dupe to the k beauty one anyways i have the forest essential one uh, it is not a dupe the glossier one almost feels like a very light airy mousse you can't it's also liquidy it's it's such a beautiful texture that i have not um, experienced in any other blush she has a very specific way of applying the blush so I'm gonna just mute her over here and copy her blush technique while we talk about you know what we were talking about so and I've got a very similar shade also this is from forest essential let me tell you what the shade is it's uh, gulabi so um, yeah that whole lipstick wipe off thing that um, uh, she thinks it is cute right she thinks um him saying that her uh, natural lip color is cute and hence wipe off the lipstick is cute that's a thing with narcissistic abuse victims we don't realize when we are in this um i need more wow she took a lot i didn't realize that we don't realize that we are in narcissistic abuse while we are in the narcissistic abuse uh while we are in the abuse guys we you know um idealize them and we also think that whatever they do is okay and did she apply it anywhere else i don't know yeah that's um that's everywhere that she applied that's a lot of blush but yeah, she just, she really did want to go for that child of the son of the earth vibe or whatever. But yeah, they don't realize it guys. Um, or we don't, I've been in few a few as well. So we don't realize it while we are in the abuse. Whatever the reason is, we can't blame her. She thinks that, oh my God, I applied too much. She won't understand this until she really gets out of it and uh, getting out of a narcissistic abuse is very very difficult there is a whole abuse cycle that the victims go through you know it is you get abused and then you patch up and you have this whole uh, overdose of dopamine because suddenly you feel great and then you get into an abusive cycle and then you go down it's a cycle that you get addicted to you know oh my god i actually really look bombed a narcissist really does think that you know he or she is the king of the world and um, they instill that idea that they are right and whatever they say is right and they are word against the world whoever is there are also narcissistic enablers who enable them there are, there are not just victims there are there is so much in this than we realize people who get into these traps they have certain traumas that they get uh, attracted to like myself she's contouring 
Uh, I don't have a contour product, you guys. What is this? It's a liquid lipstick, yeah. I don't have a contour product, but I wanted to make a quick comment about her contouring. She's applying it way too low. Do not do that. If you want to contour, please go cheekbone or above. Let's continue with this conversation. I think this is more important anyways. I'm not calling her a victim. Uh, I'm calling myself a victim. I was a victim. And I'm just speaking out of my experience. Uh, I'm just gonna reduce that level of orangeness. <laughs> the sunburntness. I'm going to use this loose powder by Charmacy. They are supposed to be the... Um, dupe of Laura Mercier powder really really finely milled so just like Miss Alia I'm applying it underneath and I think she applied it all over her face she used the hourglass ambient lighting powder that is not like the um, it has a little bit of luminosity so her face is going to have a nice little glow and shine this is more uh, like a setting powder it's just like a mattifying setting powder so the finish is going to be very very different but anyways oh she she's getting into eyeshadow all right, what is she doing now? First, I'll go in with the peachy. Okay, so I'm first going with the peachy, then I'll kind of mix in the little more, like a, the deeper, dustier pink. Just dabby wabby with it. I love pink on the eyes. It's lighter than. I have a palette. So basically, she applied a peachy shade all over her eyelid and then applied like a hot pink shade on her skin tone so i'm gonna apply like this pink um in the middle while i talk okay guys i don't i'm all over the place like i said i've not been in a good uh, mind frame anyway uh but what i'm trying to say is once you get into a narcissistic abuse if you are in a narcissistic abuse um you need to reach out to a therapist there is no other way of looking at it i shared that i've been struggling mentally on my stories and i got a message from a girl that said thank god you can afford um therapy there was a time when i would have said things like that uh, because there was a time when i i was under this narcissistic person and he controlled me with money i want to say that in today's world that there are a lot of organizations that provide therapy even for free so if you are staying away from therapy she also applied a little bit of orange underneath her lash lines so i'm gonna do that so if you are staying away from therapy because it is too expensive, let me tell you that you are fooling yourself. You are giving yourself excuse and you are denying yourself healing and a good life that uh, you deserve. Um, there are uh, places where you can get therapy for as low as 400 rupees, 500 rupees from obviously trained therapists. They are doing this for people who can't afford it. So we live in a country we are so blessed where we can definitely, definitely afford therapy if therapy is required. Guys, do you know how many people die in their 30s in our generation? I read this article where this um, cardiologist said that it is nothing but the stress that our generation carries. Our generation carries much, much more stress than any other generation um, that has preceded us. We have so much more going on in our life, so much more dreams and we hustle and we struggle so much more our relationships have evolved so much more we as human beings have evolved so you need to like you know seeking mental health treatment is not an option anymore i feel like every single person need to see a therapist i don't think anyone is in such a happy place where they don't need therapy anymore i really 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 believe that you know pandemic especially has changed something about our dynamic and you know what i'm just seeing that she has a slightly brighter poppier pink so i'm gonna uh, gently you know um there is this plump shade over here my camera would just focus on wherever it wants to focus but anyways i'm just going to dust a just a touch of plum on that uh so we get a little bit more you plum cool <laughs> we will blend it she loves pink eyes we're gonna make our eyes pink as well color theory you know if pink bright pink like a blue pink works on fair skin plum is going to work on deeper skin remember that okay 
So if you want that same pinky look, uh, gravitate more towards plums instead of this baby pink. This will work less on us. This will work more on us if, we are, if you are deeper like me. So um, yeah, what I'm trying to say is that that is not an excuse anymore. Maybe you are the problem. Maybe you are the perpetrator. You need to see a therapist to figure out what is going on in your life, you know. You cannot. Gone are the days where we were powerless. Gone are the days where we had no power to do anything and we just had to keep quiet and struggle in a relationship. So uh, I think she's still applying that orange eyeshadow. I'm... <laughs> I'm done over here with my orange eyeshadow. I don't think I could do a smoky eye and stuff. I have not, I have not paid that much attention to that, you know, particular routine. See, again, I, th I feel like she's that pick-me-up girl where she thinks she's cute and she's extra special because she can't pay attention to uh, how a smoky eye is done. She's, anyways. Like I said, my go-to is always this skin-like vibe. So some She's doing something with her fingers on her brow bone. I think what she's doing is taking a highlight shade and applying it with her um, finger. So let's do that also. So anyways, what I was saying is, see a therapist. <laughs> I feel like at the end of the day, most of my chatty videos end up with see a therapist and also I want to share something guys victims hold a lot of guilt amongst ourselves for falling into these kind of narcissistic traps because uh, it's a lot of abuse and we put ourselves through it and we don't get out of it and I think we need to show grace to ourselves and kind of I'm not talking about Alia here at all okay I've moved on I'm not even watching her anymore uh, we need to show a lot more grace to ourselves and kindness to ourselves and like forgive ourselves because especially especially because you know once um, you go through that you promise yourself that you're never ever going to let that happen to you again and then it happens to you again and how do you explain that to yourself she's doing her mascara so I'm also just applying a little bit of mascara while we talk still st staying on track um, so just because you have gone through it once doesn't mean that you know your life stops there and you know your healing is done and um, anyways this mascara from Charmacy it is a double-ended one I'm not applying the white side the primer I'm just applying the black side and I'm not liking it very much without that primer it is just too sticky and goopy but because we are in this serious talk I'm just gonna stop at it and my main takeaway in all of this is um, really nice makeup huh? <laughs> some chit chat and gossip and also please 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 start seeing a therapist I was watching um and wax away too hard to handle that was the show <laughs> I really like that show it's a really fun show and my sister would walk into me and be like what are you doing? You know, this is not a really, it's, what is this visual? So this is Hourglass and this is what I'm going to use for blush again. Oh. I'm going to go for the dusty pink and the darker bronzer pipe. She applied a lot more blush, let's do that just because she did it. Uh, quickly, quickly, quickly. Too Faced Chocolate Palette, am I going to... Uh, should I, should I, should I? Yeah, okay, you know, I'm going to take a little bit of that. I don't have a contour... Um, I don't uh, work out of my office anymore, it's been a while, so uh, all of my products are left in my office. I'm working with very, very few products that I have with me at home. I mean, this is excessive, okay, this is not very, very few, but when it comes to a beauty blogger who should be having everything in her hand, <laughs> oh my god, guys, you know I have my beauty blogger friends, right? They, it's scary to see how many products they have. Anyways, she's applying some more highlighter and then she... To think she started the whole video saying, I don't apply much makeup. Like, she's applied so much blush, it's covered half her face. Uh, and she's applied so much highlighter and brow and everything. Like, I can't do smoky eyes, I can't do whatever. Okay, anyways, she's going in with some cream highlighter which i'm doing with the bind beauty i really love supporting this brand because it is done by one of us uh, and by one of us i mean uh, she is a content creator she started her own business i know how difficult it can be to start your own business and it, it's a cutthroat 
world guys it's so difficult here in india i do not know how it is outside but i can tell you in india it is very very difficult okay alia now what i like it because it just gives you the little subtle glow more highlighter enough i can't do more okay last but not the least uh -huh. i'm going to go with this um uh, revlon it's like a creamy lip Ah, she's using Revlon. Oh my God, that is pretty cool. Okay, I told you last time I watched this video, I was so bored. Uh, but up until now, she's been using all high-end luxury makeup, which I expect her to. But Revlon, nice, nice, Alia. Anyways, uh, she's using like a nice baby pink lipstick. Wow, what a way to get take it back to pillow talk. What is this? This is pillow talk medium, by the way. <laughs> and to give it a little bit more pinky vibes, let's add a touch of Marsala from House of Makeup. Such a beautiful, beautiful pink. I'm gonna apply that also on the lips and mix it up to get that Alia type of baby pink vibe. And I think, yeah, we nailed it, huh? Just let, just okay. At this point, just let it be. Oh. Like I like it to look like a stain. Oh. Isn't and then I also blend up spilling all over something. Color within the lines. Like a lip balm is always in my bag. Always. I'm not so gonna wipe off lip my balm, lipstick. lipstick so I put the lipstick. Yeah. So she basically applied the lipstick and then she kind of wiped it off, so it stains her lips, and then she applied the lip balm, so it looks like it's her lips. <laughs> I'm just not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave it at this, and I think the video is done. Oh my god! Thank goodness for that. And oh, all the products that I have used in this video to recreate Alia Butts, Allure, no foundation, no makeup, makeup using a thousand products will be listed down in the description bar below. But more than that, guys, I think uh, I was recreating the makeup just for you know just the fun effect of it. Alia, if you're watching again, I really really love you. By the way, okay, by the way, uh, my message. Messaging was to girls who are, um, you know, maybe stuck in an unpleasant relationship to seek a therapist. This is all that I, this is the only message that I have uh, in this video, okay? Oh, boys, I cannot wait to read um, what you have to say about this whole um, topic. Yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and um, I shall see you in my next one. I love you.